want to show you three ludicrously effective ways of switching stance. And number three, you don't even move. It's like a magic trick. Number three is really special. But I'm here in London. I've got my visa appointment tomorrow morning for the Contender Series. I'm staying in an accommodation that's above an Indian restaurant. And all I can smell is do piazza. I'll get nose blind to Vindaloo within an hour. And I won't even realize it. But these ways of switching stances. Number one is a 45 degree step or a pep step. So see I'm orthodox here. Boom. Boom. This loads me up to fire back with a cross, a knee, a kick off the rear side. So there I'm going from orthodox to southpaw. The advantage is I can make a lot of distance back very quickly by going at the wall. Very quickly. Boom. Sometimes it takes just a little bit longer if I'm just stepping back in the conventional way to make that same distance backwards. And it doesn't always load me up to fire back in that new angle. If I'm orthodox orthodox and I make the switch to southpaw, boom, I'm looking to attack into the open side. Cross, knee, push kick left kick. If maybe I'm a southpaw against an orthodox, I'm looking to attack with something like a calf kick or a right hand over the top. Boom! That lines me up to throw a right hand over the top or a calf kick. One of the things I don't want to do with this is I don't want to step directly back because I'm kind of in a line here and I won't have weight to transfer into the shot. I need to step slightly out, even if it does square me a bit. It's a little bit dangerous if I time it wrong, I can step into their power kick, so I always have to be aware of that. Number two is retracting off a lead kick. Volkanovski does this really well, and Cedric Dume does it even better. <clears throat> so what we're doing is, we throw this lead kick, leg, body, head, head, Alizon will do this, and instead of pulling it back here awkwardly, where we're right in front of the guy, where this kick might not have had the most effect, and they can step in and throw punches, and try to step back, we just kick, Fall back into the opposite stance, southpaw. Again, we've got all the same things. It's like the same switch as the last one, but we just fire back with different things. Volkanovski uses this really well, used it really well against Yair. Inside kick, step back, then he's loaded up for that right hook. Really effective. Cedric Dumbe did that a lot against Johan Congolo. Very effective. Boom, boom, boom. There's a really beautiful one that Chingas Alizov hits, and I can't remember the opponent where he goes left high kick, no switch, but then as he steps down, he's combined it with a slip, because someone tries to use a classic right hand counter to the left kick, and he just pings back with the left straight. Really, really, really effective. And I can use it off a lead kick if I'm southpaw against an orthodox. Here I'm using this lead kick against the calf. Lead kick into the calf, and I make the same angle where I can go calf again, hook, cross, step in for a takedown. Number three, this is classic ovary. It's like a magic trick. I'm not even gonna move. This is where I'm here, here. Maybe the opponent takes a deep pivot into my open side. And I just track him. Instead of taking extra steps, I just track this way. Now I'm loaded up for a right hook. Boom, that can cut them, cut them off. Then I can follow in with punches. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, give him my old Vindaloo. Alistair Overeem is really classic at this. Justin Gaethje does a really good line on this. Boom, it's really good because you're, while said making a massive movement, using a lot of energy and covering a lot of distance. Boom, that's all you're doing. Mike Tyson, that's a classic one back in the day. Really good as well. Not even moving. Boom, very effective at cutting the cage. Even on the back foot, maybe someone's firing and they fly past you. Boom. Sometimes it's combined with a Tyson kind of uh, shift. Maybe you've slipped, they've come off that way. So you re readjust, you might need that kind of Tyson shift, custom auto shift to load you into a lead hook. Uh, the, you know, your natural power hand becomes your backhand. I've not sparred absolutely loads with amateur boxers. There was one tall guy who was like jabbing my head off and really, he was getting the better of me when I was sparring boxing with him. But one thing that really worked was as he would jab off, and normally have quite a safe jab and hook spin, as he moved that way, I would just track and fire my right hand, and I could get a few shots off. So, fingers crossed for the visa appointment tomorrow morning. Thank you to all the Patreon boys, because 
It's these types of things in fight camp. I've got to spend all week in London because Harry's fighting on Friday against the Soldado. Soldado quoting Mike Tyson saying, everyone has a configuration of options until they receive a punch to the face or some Google translate like that. But massive shout out to the sponsors, massive shout out to the Patreons because in the real world, you hemorrhage money on trips like this, and it's the support means the world. Use those stance switches and tell me how they go.